Hello everyone, uh, video I will play for you is recorded approximately 8 years ago. Uh, it's second chapter with uh, multi-millionaire or multi-billionaire uh, Ukraine uh, Igor Berkut. Uh, what's going on in the world? As you most know, what is going on in the world and he's talking about Ukraine but I will give a short introduction in what is going on in the world before I start uh, playing video for you if you all remember Mike Pompeo said to Donald uh, J Trump uh, that uh, COVID-19 is a military exercise. Exactly this is connected to Igor Berkut's speech. Uh, it's a great introduction of what is really going on, not just in Ukraine, but in every single country in the world. Uh, not many of you who remember well, Mike, uh, Mike Pompeo was right, it's military exercise, COVID-19. Uh, we all know this now, of course. Um, but not sure do many of you remember. Uh, Palestine's people of pa Palestine, they were telling us that COVID-19 is a uh, S C A M. You can pronounce what I spelled. Uh, I don't want uh, YouTube to knock down this video because of my speech, you know. But I don't know. Maybe they will. Not. I will try to to uh, to use terms uh, for algorithm not to be knocked down video because uh, my YouTube was once. Uh, uh, deleted and many times uh, shadow banned and uh, under strikes so I have to be careful what I'm saying I mean I don't want to be careful I want to speak truth and only truth to the world because I want every one of us to be saved and just to live normal life uh, Palestines were telling us when COVID-19 started that all this is exactly what Israel is doing in Palestine to Palestinians but not many were paying attention I guess uh, all started when they uh, test zone started in Africa with vaccines with uh, food shortages with water shortages um, utilities uh, high cost of living as you can see all is happening in the world at the same time in all countries well not in all countries not sure about uh, China about uh, Russia North Korea I cannot mention because they are under sanctions so it's not Kim Jong-un's fault rocket man how John Donald uh, Donald J Trump likes to call Kim Jong-un he's not uh, Kim Jong-un is not the dictator he's just protecting his people as much as, as he can they are under sanctions and that's why they live most uh, North Koreans live poor lives because uh, same happened in uh, when uh, my country Yugoslavia former Yugoslavia was broken down with uh, uh, America's proxy hybrid wars so what is Igor Berkut saying uh, in the video is that we are disposable uh, why they should care about people, they should uh, rise costs of living uh, if, and that we should fit in. If we cannot fit in, we are disposable. They should not care for us. What really um, took my attention when he's, he was talking in this interview, in his speech, uh, was that he said owner of the state. So he see president, he's talking about Ukraine, but this is what is going on in the world. He's talking about Ukraine um, in general. Uh, 
and he does not call president president he calls president uh, owner of the state which means we are living all in police state and he's talking about people as slaves which is true we do live in a uh, modern uh, feudalism I already spoke in the first chapter I'm not sure is it uh, no no it's it's not in the uh, first chapter with the uh, Igor Berkut speech it's uh, in video my five cent uh, on all wars and something like that it was the uh, title of the video uh, they want we to be slaves we to be like uh, in the song Rage Against the Machine, uh, do as we told you. We don't, if we don't do as they tell us, owners of the state, I would say, owner, uh, say owners of the police state, if we don't do as they tell us what to do, they will crush us, they, they will squeeze us. They want us out of the country or they will do anything to bring either fake natural death or in any way to kill us uh, and to blame on us that death. They don't see us as uh, humans, as, a, uh, as a, a class of people as they are. They are superior, we are a, a low human race just to work for them, uh, to bring them profit. Uh, they are so greedy, so greedy people. I just I cannot imagine that somebody uh, who has everything in life wants more power, wants more money, wants more, um, let's say, Hunger Games. I don't mean just food when I say Hunger Games. When they want to hunt people, to uh, they want people to be slaves. I don't understand why there is so much greed. So such evil in a in a person who feels superior with the power with the money having pre, uh, pow, uh, um, having such power thinking he rules the world he rules or she rules the world or they rule the world i just don't understand that uh, character i cannot understand the profile of this mentality in the people how they how they think that they can do with people's lives whatever they want uh, just one more thing before playing a video what i want to say uh, when america and european countries uh, bombed yugoslavia my former republic uh, we had a inflation sanctions we were not allowed to seek asylum in any country uh, how we were surviving bargaining bargaining that's how you need to to learn to survive and as a matter of fact i think my country is still under sanctions because people people here here live very 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 high poverty and it's a very high percent of uh, unemployment uh, so what I want really to say is next uh, inflation inflation is S C A M same as COVID-19 you can pronounce that for me I have to be careful with algorithms on YouTube uh, I will publish this video in, on my Beach Hut channel in case it gets removed by YouTube so I'm going to take chance I'm gonna upload it to YouTube inflation uh, exactly is in connection of uh, Igor Berk Berkut speech from eight from approximately eight years ago um, what really is inflation? They want to rob people. Uh, to take all your money from you. So there is nothing left from you. 
they don't want you to travel they want you to be stuck in your place uh, inflation is for rich people to take all your money to take your wages to take your pensions I just don't understand why people can't see this maybe war in Yugoslavia shaped me made me smarter so I can easier understand things and wars and everything uh, people need to unite people really need to unite together to to stop this because we they are a reshaping world to police state police military state or police state whatever you want to say to call it inflation is there to make you poor with inflation there is no poor world anymore people are people who are poor they are already poor so they they are just cutting cutting off uh, more of their uh, uh, livelihoods with inflation inflation is for uh, uh, to cut livelihoods of uh, middle class people which hardly ever exist anywhere in the world anymore and for rich people who they don't uh, who billionaires and millionaires do not care anymore and they want their money and I don't know maybe inflation is for these wars you know to weaponize uh, you uh, countries like Ukraine and other countries uh, to continue with this like uh, Julian Assange said endless wars proxy and uh, hybrid wars inflation is to rob you understand this uh, Putin is not guilty Russia is not guilty nobody from Russia is guilty for inflation it's just their excuse from these uh, Nazi countries you know inflation is to rob you to take all your properties money your uh, to make you feel uh, disposable you will have to understand at one point that you are struggling in life you have to to look on both sides what's going on in the world when you talk about russia you have to look at ukraine when you look when you talk about ukraine you have to talk about uh, to look at russia on both sides you have to look to understand to see what's really going on for example in ukraine as an example what i'm giving to you uh, so this speech which uh, which i was listening that gave uh, igor berkut its great introduction to police state exactly what Israel is doing in Palestine uh, exactly what America is trying to do with European countries they are squeezing your pockets your mine everybody's they want me to suffer and just do what they tell us to do that's what they are doing now I will let you listen to Igor Berkut's speech this is not just about Ukraine, this speech. It's about every country. So please pay attention to every single word, word he, he speaks. Amen. 
приносить тот поколенческий опыт, когда государство в обмен на труд людей там устраивало их жизнь, не стоит. Дело в том, что сегодня наша страна принадлежит узкому группу лиц, миллиардеров и мультимиллионеров. Причем все они находятся у власти, либо контролируют власть, являются составной частью. Жалуются на свою несчастную никчемную жизнь. Но с какой стати? 